well, well, what do we have here but more Hydranir? Yes, you guys love this little game. I'm seeing a lot of comments like these saying, Blitz, where's Hydranir? Where's Hydranir? Did you forget about Hydranir? Where is it? I haven't seen it. And all sorts of stuff. Well, frankly, uh, there's a lot of other games I wanted to play, and uh, I decided just to put this on pause for a little bit. Uh, but I did have a big idea for today. A super big idea. I mean, you probably already saw it by the thumbnail, but I'm going to pretend like you didn't see that. And, oh, wow. <laughs> did you see all those things? I needed to be, buy a lot of those. Uh, anyway, my idea is that you hit the like button before we continue any further in this video. I bet we can hit 20,000 people hitting the like button. That would be cool. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because, well, frankly, only 44% of you viewers have subscribed, which is actually, not going to lie, that's pretty good for YouTube, but that means that 55% of you weren't, which is room for improvement. So my idea for today is that we go into this room, the secret cave of secrets. And as soon as we place down all four of the secret things on the secret pedestal, this secret door unlocks. That's a lot of secrets. I wonder if we could actually get in there, like, glitch our way in. And there's supposed to be something really, really cool in there that I don't actually know what it is, but you guys do because you saw the thumbnail in the title. But we're going to figure out how to get in there, uh, and I think the best way to do it is by grabbing this guy and then doing what I do best, destroy the environment. That's right. We're going to fire up the old grinder wheel, bring it down, and see if we can find these secret things underground. I don't really know where they are, but hopefully, is that it right there? What is that? Is that a seed bag? Looks like a cocoon. I don't like cocoons. They have bugs inside of them. What is that? Oh, it definitely is a seed bag. Green cane seed bag. I'm totally stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay, we'll just leave that over here. Bloop. Nice. There. Oh, okay. This is good news. <laughs> I am stuck already again. Oh, oh. I'm in my truck. Oh, it's that thing. Oh, am I, am I good? Oh, we got problems. Houston, please have an axe here. Please have an axe here. Yes. Look at this. Did you know you can walk on this? It's pretty amazing, actually. I'm impressed with myself. Oh, oh, and boop. Nice. Okay, did I find it? Did I find the secret thing of secrets down here yet? No. And unstuck. <laughs> We're just going to have to massage the game a little bit because, frankly, it doesn't like working a lot of times. But that's what makes Hydranir fun. It's halfway broken all of the time. Does that mean it's halfway broken half the time? Or fully broke? I don't understand. There it is. We found it. It's the S word. Hello, secret S word. I have you in my, I got it. The sword relic found deep underground, placed with caves. I can't get out of the dumb hole. Well, that's cool and stuff. I guess we just die down here. Just kidding, I made it out. Now my question is, once we, ooh, I wonder, I wonder if the, we could sell this, but once we unlock all four of these things, how much is the secret ending piece gonna be? Like if I put this on this table, does the, the stock market go, hey, big stonks? No, it says zero, because that's not the right one. So how about I sell it to this jeweler? Do you want it? No, you don't. Can I throw it down? The, no, I'm not gonna throw it in the wishing well, that'd be stupid. Okay, which one did I put it on? I kinda wish they had like a little relic, like a puzzle that you could use, but no. There's no puzzle. Maybe it, maybe it goes like this. This first one goes over here because that's in the first zone. And this one might be the third or fourth. I don't really know. Please, Mr. Tractor, get out of my way. Please. Oh, there we go. Just monster truck it. Oh, this was a bad plan. That was not a good idea. Oh, oh this was definitely not a good idea. Maybe it'll land in a good spot. No, just back along the river. This is pretty much the worst of spots. On second thought, I'm almost out of gas, which is just water in this game. So... I should probably fill it. What is going? Oh, I can just walk in it. <laughs> can I? There we go. There we go. And then and then the water in the water tank. Nice. I'm so good at this game. I started to think to myself, I said, self, maybe this thing drives better like a shrimp by going backwards or a lobster. You know how they go backwards with their claws in the front? And I think it works better this way. So I've managed to shrimp my way all the way over to this base. Um, I don't know if I bought it yet. So if I didn't buy it, does that mean I could just destroy it? No, I can't. That's too bad. I want to destroy things that I don't own. So I guess we have to go find some stonks and then drop it in here. I don't actually know how much it's... How much do I buy it for? Oh, 6,600. I only have $700 left. I don't remember where this one was. I know I found it in a previous save file. Oh, not probably not in the trees. So, oh boy. We're going to start over here. I think it's in the middle of the map, roughly, but 
we're gonna find it. Also, some people said I should build like a just a base that I just strip the whole land with, and I'll be honest, it's not that exciting to do because this is very difficult to drive this thing. Uh huh. See, <laughs> it pops up like a land dolphin, and then you get it stuck. Oh, oh, all right, we're out of the stuck zone. That was cool. You know what my least favorite thing about this game is? Is how much water that harvester thing can actually hold because it runs out super fast. Also, you wanna know a fun thing I found? If you drop the bed like in the middle of nowhere and then you sleep in it before it hits the ground, fun things happen. <laughs> that didn't quite work right. Okay, you ready? And now I put that down and we're gonna sleep for like an entire day kind of upside down in a weird way. It'll be interesting. Okay, where's my hole? There it is. Okay, ready? And drop it and click. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm in the bed still. Sort of. And now I'm, I'm now, now I'm drowning. And now I'm back up top. <laughs> that was fun. I want to do it again. Where'd the bed go, though? Because it's not down in the hole. Did I just... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Weird. So I just got to go on a cross-country backpacking trip here with a bucket of water in my hand. <laughs> the tire's still spinning. <laughs> oh no! I fell into the death trap of death. Oh, this is a death trap of death. There is no way out of here. That's unfortunate. Oh, even more annoying. Oh, I got it. Nice. All right. Tiny drops. That's all I gotta do. And just go all the way over the edge of the map. And then walk all the way back. And then my bucket just randomly disappears. Um. What? And then I remember I took all of my money all the way over to the claim to buy it. So that quick little project that should have taken about three minutes is now turned into about 17 minutes worth of walking just to buy one pail. <laughs> Look at the bucket jump. <laughs> He's so excited. He's like, yay, everybody hit the like button. Uh oh, oh, just come on. I just want it. <sighs> Finally back in the ground. Oh, this is, oh, oh, I thought I saw it. I don't even know what this one is. I don't remember. I know I found it in my last save file, but we're going in, boys. We're gonna go ant mode here. Going down in the ground. I'm stuck. I managed to get stuck and I've used up half my gas tank already. That's awesome. This just gets like a better and better and better idea. Every single second that I do it, I've been making a big hole trying to find something stupid underground. This is pretty much the worst zone in the history of bad zones for finding underground treasure. It's just been a blast. So much, so much fun. Just, you gonna be okay? See, it doesn't matter how you drive in here because eventually it's just gonna derp out and then you have to just dig your way out and then you kind of eat yourself back in the hole and get stuck trying. Like, <laughs> why did I think this was a good idea to do? Why? And the best part is, I haven't even done anything, and my tank is halfway full of gas. I think maybe I should probably just, like, dig down there with a shovel. On second thought, this isn't very fun either. Um, <laughs> it's, whatever's at the end of this secret cave is going to have to be worth it. Because this is torture. And you get these little floaty pebbles, like this one right here. <laughs> they get your trucks hung up on so you have to go through and you have to remove all the little shards and everything Just so your stupid truck can go drive through it. Also, my cat was just on my desk She decided to come in and eat the barbecue sauce off my plate. I had some pork chops for lunch and With barbecue sauce and she was licking the barbecue. I don't under why you're weird go away And she meows all day. She's just meowing. You can't hear her right now, but she's meowing and it's driving me crazy if You can't tell I might have gone there already. It's crazy. Like, why is my cat licking barbecue sauce off my plate? I don't understand. She's weird. She never eats people food. She won't even eat cheese or milk like regular cats. But barbecue sauce. Like, what is wrong with her? And no. Now, what is wrong with me? Just, just get in. Get. <gasps> I made it in the hole. And I'm up on the right way. Sort of. I'm stuck. Oh, great. Always nice to use a pickaxe to dig a digging machine out because it's stuck. It's kind of ironic. You know what the best part is? The best part is that I still need two more. Like this one and then one more after it. Then I'll find all the relics and we can have big stonks. Ladies and gentlemen, we have breakthrough. We have successfully ridden this thing down to the bottom of the cave. Unfortunately, I can't turn around. And then I run out of gas again. Oh, joy. At least I got a big hole dug out that time. 
How am I going to get water down here? I'm going to have to carry that stupid bucket back and forth 74 times. So there it is. I found it after like, oh, oh, what are you doing? After like three hours of digging out a giant cavern underground, I have finally found the cross of crossiness. That's what I'm going to call it. Does it have anything cool? Oh yeah, look at that. It has, why do you pick it up with the ugly side away? Hey, look, I want it. I want, how do I get it out of here? Unstuck. Woo. Okay. Finally, like so excited. I can drop that down. Uh, I guess you guys have said in comments and before and I looked at other people's videos There are six of these relics hidden in the world, but you only need four of them To to unlock the secret thing in the secret cave of secretness. Also, I totally forgot that the trees are invisible um, I don't under I still don't understand that but uh, these posts aren't so watch this you can drive straight into them Just I don't get that like it's like, hey, cool, there's a super tree here, and then you walk into it, and you bonk your face on it, and then you walk down here, and you just walk right through the post. Like, isn't that weird? I'm actually kidding. This has a hitbox, too. But why can you drive through it, not walk through it? I, I don't know. And even that little thing, it should dangle down. Oh, it, it did remove. Uh, it used to be able to get stuck on those little hangy light things. So here we go, back at the Cave of Secrets. Let's grab this cross thing. And we're gonna go put it down on the pedestal and then we just need to find one more uh, So boop. nice. I want to we need to turn this around so it looks proper boop. Yes, that's so cool And I guess there's some sort of hidden telescope in here somewhere, too So I'm going to find it if my life depends on it and if I didn't like dirt which I don't because it's dirty question that I always have um, This might be a stupid question, but there's no such thing. I heard one time is and now I asked this before in other videos and you guys answered it So I want to see what you think in this video if you drop a bar of soap on dirt Does the soap get dirty or does the dirt get clean? That's a good question. I'm gonna say both um, <laughs> What do you guys think? Oh? No, oh, I totally just destroyed my plant friend. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to actually now I have two plants That's uh Exciting, I guess. I still don't have a use for them. I just wonder where this dirt goes when I keep smacking it with this pickaxe and it's like magically disappears into a place of magic. I don't understand it. Does it get stored in like the handle of the pickaxe or does it pop up in little turd nuggets behind it? I don't really understand. Where's that at? I see a shadow. Is it? Oh, <laughs> of course. How could I forget that spot or this one? Oh, that was that shadow. Where's my... <laughs> Got it. Where, oh, where is this telescope at? I am so bored of digging. Do you like my song? I just made it up. Hey, there it is. Wow. I mined out the entire thing. Literally the entire thing. And it was like the last thing I just clicked on. Haha. <laughs> Mine. Dibs. Come on. Just grab it. I'm trying to grab it. Would I grab? Thank you. Got it. Arr, matey. Hey, Pirate Blitz here. Blitz, Blitzbeard the pirate. Okay, that's the last one, my dudes. That is the last one. We're gonna look at the space when we sleep for a little bit, make the daytime more dayish, and we're gonna figure out what's inside of this magical cave of magicalness. I wish these lights were on. Maybe those those turn on when you put all the things in. Oh, we're gonna unlock it. We're gonna unlock it. Here we go. Unlock time. Oh, oh, I hear it. I hear it. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Check that sweetness out. Oh, do you see the big gems in there? Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, you turn around, bud, buddy. Turn around so we can see you in your ultimate glory. Oh, no. Would you not? We're trying to we're trying to make a video here. If you could just sit nicely, that'd be cool and stuff. Hey, hey. what? Oh, those are so cool looking. This thing's got to be worth like a million. It has to be worth a million. Should we go try to sell it? I really want to. I have a feeling it's going to be full of crippling disappointment. So we can try selling it over there. And I guess we're gonna put it on the jeweler's table. Here it goes. We'll just make sure that's nice and spot. And we'll check the price of that in the next video. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that to you. Whoa, 68,000. 
That's actually worth quite a lot. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Did you like that joke I pulled on you, by the way? I thought it was pretty punny. Haha! <laughs> Check that out, though. 68,000. I feel like in the four or five hours it took me to find those four things, it would have been better if I had just mined gold. But it was fun to try, and uh, I guess that'll do it for today's video. We'll catch you next time. Bye!